following on with the hobby print sublimation how to series of videos how to sublimate on different things we used a couple of different printers to create some images if you've watched it you'll remember that so all I've done is I've put some heat tape on the back here and I'm going to position it on a sublimation coated mug please bear in mind you cannot use a normal mug so all I do and I'm not going to worry too much about accuracy on this it's the principle of getting it on I would just use a work surface stick that down there stick that down there and we're good to go so there we go we've got our image taped on ready to go it may come out a bit skew with but let's set up our mug press we work in centigrade 182 degrees centigrade 210 seconds I'm going to explain I'm going to come back to the 210 seconds but let's get the thing warming up I have partially warmed it up we would normally look to do a mug for 180 seconds three minutes and we know from experience that works great but what you've got is once it is up to temperature you then put a cold mug into the mug press and you have heat transference from the element into the mug the 30 seconds what we call dwell time allows that process to go through where you've transferred heat from the element and you've rebuilt the temperature back into the element so that explains that now look we're good to go here I'm just gonna pop our mug in I've already preset the pressures and as you can see it's counting down again to reiterate what will happen the mug cold mug is going to get warmed up the element is going to cool down and then it's going to build back up again in temperature we think that takes approximately 30 seconds it varies but it's pretty close then you come into 180 seconds and that is a sublimation process starting for that period of time whilst we're waiting for the countdown to go let's talk about the consumables that we use and if you thought we were going to get away without banging on about what we sell big mistake firstly we're using splashed it sublimation ink great ink it gives a really good deep black color and the, the colors the dark colors come at a stunning absolutely stunning we do them in four color sets six color sets to suit the printer we've got hobby print heap tape and we're using hobby print photo plus sublime transfer paper all of those items are listed in the videos information description and there are links to our website where you can purchase there we go we're on 120 seconds I'm sorry I can't speed this up we have to go through it as it does it but let's talk about times and sublimation there's an awful lot of information on the internet and people tell you you can sublimate a mug in a minute you can or you can do all kinds of different things I'm not going to dispute that but I've never found that it works we tend to advise people to go with what we know works and we say once you've got into it play around with stuff and figure out what best suits you when you come to um, water bottles aluminium water bottles I did listen to what people said and I reduced it down to a minute wow what a nightmare getting the transfer paper off that took far longer than the three minutes normally another thing I would say is always gently quench the mug after you've done it I would use warm water and gradually increase that to cold um, that will cool the mug down the advantage of that it makes it dishwasher safe again another thing to bear in mind 
you cannot just use standard mugs. They need to be a coated product. And that has to be a sublimation coated product for it to work. That allows the gases that are transferred to reform onto the coating and recreate the image for you. Without that coating, you're going nowhere. Comment on the mug press. This is part of the MTEC range. It's a good quality, medium quality mug press. What I mean by that is the amount of money you pay, that press would cost you about £120. You're getting good value for money. And all we would say is at least have a half decent mug press. Okay, that's it done. Let's see what we've got. This is where I get to burn my fingers on camera. So if I swear, apologies. And you've seen that before I do. There we go. That's pretty good, isn't it? And it's that easy. Thank you.